Hi, Assalamualaikum guys. So, today I would like to lecture you about chapter 8. So, today is the chapter 8 part 2. This is continuous from last week chapter. So, last week I told you about the communication and this week uh, I will explain you more on the network. So, next is the learning objective. Okay, previously we done of this four learning objective and for today and for this week, you must be able to define network and key network terminology including network interface card and network operating system. So next, you should be able to describe different types of network including local, home, wireless, personal, metropolitan and wide area network. Next, you should be able to describe network architecture including topology and, uh, and strategy. And then lastly, you should be able to explain the organization issue related to internet technologies and network security. Again, next is a network. So what does it mean about the network? Networks means a communication system that connect two or more computers so that can exchange information and share resources. So, so this is the definition of the network. We use a network to exchange the information or share the data. Okay guys, so as you can see in here, so this is the network where we have the router, we have the switch, we have the server, we have the nodes, client and many more. Okay, so this is how the network looks like. So this is the specialized term in a network. Okay, this is the, uh, the normal term that uh, they use in a network. So first we have a node. It says that nodes is the any device connected to a network. It can be your laptop or your printer. Next, we have the client. A client is a node that requests and use resources from other nodes. For example, you request data from your item server, so you are the client. Next, we have the server. Okay, server contain data and information. So this server, so this server will share resources with other nodes. Okay, so next we have the directory server. It says that specialized server that manage your resources. So next we have the host. Host a computer system that can be accessed over a network. Next we have the router and the switch. Uh, so basically this one we use to coordinate the data. So next is the network interface card. This network interface card is the expansion card located in your laptop that connect a computer to a network. We use this card to connect to a network. If you don't install this card inside your laptop, so you can connect to the network. Okay, next we have the network operating system. So previous picture is a network operating system that control activities of all the computer on the network. Uh, and the lastly, we have the network administrator, which is this is the computer specialist responsible for network operation. Okay, next. Okay, next we have the several type of network. They are uh, line, home, WLAN, PAN, MAN, and one. So what does it mean of this type? So first we have the local area network or we call it as the LAN. Okay, LAN is the computer and device linked in distance of less than a mile. Then this is linked by a cable. Okay, so this LAN can be connected to each other by using network gateway. For example, like Ethernet. So usually, uh, LANs, we use the cable. The cable that we use usually, the color blue. Kalau awak masuk dekat dalam lab, you ada jumpa port internet kan? And ada wire warna biru, right? So that is the example of the LAN. We uh, create the layer of network using the cable. Okay, next we have the home network. Basically, is it is a LAN. So this is used for the home or apartment and used by the individual. This home network allow different computers to share resources, including a common internet connection. It also can be connected by various means, including a wireless LAN, or we call it as the WLAN. WLAN. So what does it mean about the wireless LAN? WLAN. So wireless LAN or WLAN is the wireless local area network. All communication pass through the network centrally located wireless access point or base station. So by using this access point, you can create a hotspot where you can offer it to the public 
but of course you can secure your hotspot by implement password to your hotspot so they differentiate between LAN and VLAN so LAN we use the cable however VLAN we use the wireless when we talk about the wireless it use the microwave signal so from the VLAN we can create the hotspot to share with the public okay next we have the personal area network or we call it as the PAN what does it mean about the PAN? PAN works within a very small area connect cell phone to the headset PDA to other PDA keyboard to cell phone usually PAN is a uh, example of the Bluetooth for example you have the headset Bluetooth headset you connect it with your phone to uh, listen to music so that is the example of the PAN next we have the metropolitan area network or we call it as the MINE so uh, MINE uh, which span distance up to 100 miles if LAN just know it only up one mile so this one is 100 miles it depend on geographical bound of a city for example we have network for KL and we have network for Putrajaya that is the example of the metropolitan area network so if this man connected to each other it will become as the one so what does it mean about the one one is the wide area network okay this is the countrywide and worldwide network. The example of one is the internet that use microwave relay and satellite to reach a user. Okay, that means about the wide area network. Okay, next. When we talk about the network architecture, basically we talk about the topology and also the strategy. So what are topology and strategy so next so under network topology we have a several network several type of network which is we have the ring network star network bus network tree network and mesh network second is the network strategy network strategy means that how the information and resources are shared the most commonly network topology used today are the star tree and also the mesh okay next is the ring network a ring network is a topology where each device is connected to two other devices forming a ring. When we talk about ring network, the topology, the layout of the topology is in circle. Okay, like a ring. When a message is sent, it's passed through each device until it reaches its destination. Okay, for example, this is PC1 and I want to send message to the PC3 I need to pass through with this PC first then this PC can get my message so that is how the ring network work the disadvantages of this ring network is if a computer or device on ring network fails the entire network potentially could stop functioning so this is this disadvantage if you apply ring network topology for example as I mentioned before this uh, this this device want to send message to the device however this device is not work so all the process for this network will fail okay it could stop the functioning so this is disadvantage when you use the ring network so the advantages is a ring network can spend a larger distance than a bus network but it is more difficult to install that means you can add up another device so you can spend this Circle, but difficult to install okay so next we have the star network if the ring network is in circle star network is look like a star that's why this network we call it a star network so this topology where each device connected directly to a central network switch so this one all communication pass through the switch each connected device is asked for whether it has a message to send and then each device is in turn allowed to send its message for example if this device want to send message to this device then need to pass through using the switch okay then this switch will send the message to the to the destination devices okay semuanya melalui switch so switch is like a middle main so the switch send the message to the intended recipient most widely used network topography to today okay so this is the star, star network next the advantages of using the star network of course on a star network if one node fails only that node is affected the other nodes continue to op operate normally if one node fail to operate 
So another notes can operate normally because they use the switch to send the data or information. However, the disadvantages when you use the stun network if the hub or switch fail, okay, if the switch is fail, the entire network is inoperable until the device is repaired. So this is the advantage of the stun network. If this not, if this fail, the entire network will fail. So next we have the bus network. So this is the bus network. It look like a uh, satu jalan raya and this one like a uh, bus stop. Okay, so this is the layout of the bus network. Consists of the single central cable to which all computer and other devices connected. The bus is the physical cable that connect the computer and other devices. The bus in the bus network transmit data, instruction, information in both direction. Okay, it will go both direction from here or from here. Okay. The advantage of use bus network, of course, computer and other device can be attached and detached at any point on the bus without disturbing the rest of the network. So, kalau you tak nak letak dekat sini, you boleh detach and attach in here. Okay, ini kelebihan bus network. Failure of one device usually does not affect the rest of the bus network. Same with the star network. However, the bus itself but become inoperable. This one. Okay, if the cable is failed to operate, so so if that happen, the network remains inoperative until the bus is back in working order. Sama juga macam star network. Kalau cable ni rosak, semua tak boleh operasi. So next we have the three network. Three network is a topology where each device connected to a central node either directly or through sub subordinate nodes. Okay. So usually three network also called as a hierarchical. The central node is the connected to two or more sub subordinate nodes that in turn are connected to other subordinate nodes. Useful in centralized organization. Okay, usually this this come from the one department. This is from other department. If uh, this Okay, if this node want to search your information, they need to use this node. They need to ask from this node. Okay, about the department itself. Okay, kalau dia minta pasal berkenaan pasal departmentnya, so dia boleh minta daripada sini. Okay, sebab ini adalah satu department, this is another department. So that's why this three network is useful in centralized organization. So, uh, next we have the mesh network. So, the mesh network is the newest type and does not use specific physical layout. But, it's required that each node have more than one connection to other nodes. Okay, if a path between two nodes is disrupted, data can be rewrote around the failure using another path. Okay, wireless technology are frequently used to build mesh network. Yang ni dia... Kalau uh, contohnya notes ni rosak, dia boleh reroute jalan yang lain. Sebab tu mesh network ni we call it as the mesh because there no require specific physical layout like star bus network. No, they does not have specific physical layout. Okay, basically we have a two network strategy which is we have the client server network and peer to peer network. So what does it mean about both of it? Okay. So next. Okay, next. Client server network. Basically, you have client or server. You can see the picture at the top right here. So this is the example of the client server network. Um, for example, you request something to the system UITM. So you are the client. Okay, you get the you get the data or information from the UITM server. So that is the uh, example of the client server network. So central computer coordinate and supply supply service to other nodes on the network. Server provides access and client server network is the widely used on the internet. So the advantages using the client server first of course it can handle large network efficiently. 
availability of powerful network management software to monitor and control networks activities. So the disadvantages of using the client server network is the cost of inter, uh, installation and maintenance. It is very costly, very expensive. So commonly used server operating system is Windows Server. We have the Mac OS X servers, Linux and Solaris. Okay, next we have peer-to-peer -peer network. As you can see, it is like a mesh network just now. So all nodes have equal authority, can act as a both client and server. So peer-to-peer -peer ni, dia tak ada server, macam orang tengah. Dia, nodes ni, dia boleh jadi client, sometimes dia juga boleh jadi server. Okay, that's why we call it as the peer-to-peer -peer network. So, the example of peer-to-peer -peer is the BitTorrent. BitTorrent is the file sharing software. But the advantages of using peer-to-peer -peer network is the lack of security. We don't know which PC has been infected by the virus. So, this is so peer-to-peer -peer have these advantages. So next is the organizational network. So in organizational network, it has two types, which is we have the intranet and extranet. So internet technology support effective communication within and between the organization. What does it mean about the intranet? Intranet is the private network within an organization. It works like the internet. For example, like certain UFN system, if you want to get access into a system, you must be within in the U UITM. So that is the mean of the intranet. How about the extranet? Extranet is the private network that connect more than one organization. For example, you have intranet in UITM Jengke and intranet in UITM Raup. Then you will use this extranet to connect between these two campus. So, it also works like the internet but provides supplier and other trusted partner with limited access to organization network. So, how we can secure our network? First of all, you can use firewall. And this firewall install in your laptop. Firewall is the hardware and software that control access to a network. Proxy server provide pass-through access and protects you against external Create. For example, like virus, ransomware, and many more. We also have the intrusion detection system, IDS. So IDS is work with firewall to protect organization network, analyze all incoming and outgoing network traffic to avoid hacker hack into your organization network. Okay, next also we have the virtual private network or we call it as the VPN. Create a secure private network connection between your computer and the organization. Especially uh, when you work from home, you need to protect your data that you bring from your office. So this is the illustration for intranet, extranet, firewall and proxy server. So as you can see in here, we have one intranet. And here we have other intranet. So these two intranet is connected by extra net. And we have the firewall there. So it's protected by the firewall. And it can protect you from any threat. For example, like viruses, ransomware, and many more hack, hacker, and so on. Okay, so this is how the illustration for the connection between intranet, extra net, and also fire you want okay okay guys so that's all for today's chapter okay if you have any question uh, you can ask me in telegram so the end of the chapter it so next week uh, i will introduce you with the last chapter in csc 134 which is chapter 9 okay guys so don't forget to click your attendant in your future And also, don't forget to do a uh, tutorial that I have been given you in Google Classroom. So, that's all for today's classes. Assalamualaikum.